hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i cut out my own flounce so what i first of all do is to create a perfect circle and how i do that is that i first of all fold my fabric into four places like this like i'm going to cut a full circle flare and i'm just going to be working on the closed ends like this and as you well know the same way you trace out your flare like measuring from here to here and then you take the same measurement all around to create the perfect circle that's exactly what we are going to do now so first of all you determine the length of the flounce you need and the amount you need so what i usually do is to make sure that like i want four inches flounce i make sure that this area right here will be at least two times the amount of the flounce i leave like four times to eight this must be up to eight inches or more like so depending on the length of the flounce you want you times it by two or three depending on the amount you want so you can do it like one place or two places so let's go ahead and start working so from here i'm just going to mark out the length like i need like two two inches of my flounce to be like in three places or four so i'm adding extra inches to that two inches by three which is six and i'm just going to add two inches for miscellaneous so I'm just going to be marking this all through as you can see here. I'm just going to take this round like I'm going to be marking a normal full circle of a flare. So I'm just going to take this all round and then we'll move over to the next level. So you can as well mark with me like this. So now that I'm done marking this, I'm just going to connect these dots together and then we'll go over to the next level. So now that I've done that and I've cut out my fabric like this, I'm just going to open this up and show you what it looks like. It's going to be a perfect circle like this. And the next thing I'm going to do right here is to indicate the middle part of it, which is going to be a reference point for our work. And from here, I'm just going to mark one inch out like this from that circle onwards to create another small circle in between it and this will help us to make the other references that we're going to do now you mustn't make this little circle right here with a measurement you can use a bottle top or any round object you have to create this circle so i'm just going to create this one inch right here Remember, I added the miscellaneous when taking my measurements. So depending on the amount of me measurements you added, allowances you added to your measurement, that will determine the amount of small circle you make in there. That is how I do mine anyways. So now that I've created this one inch circle right there, what I'm simply going to do is to make sure that I connect it as much as I can. So from here, I'm going to create this perfect circle from here. And when I am done doing that, the next thing I'm going to do now is, start, is to start, start creating my flounce. And to do that, the next thing I'm going to do is to come out at this other end. Like this is an indication point. This line is here, as you can see. is an You can draw it or you can use an iron to make it like so before you start drawing your flounce. It helps me a lot, okay? So what I am going to do next is to come in by half inch at one point of this line, like this, this point like right here. I'm going to come in half inch inward here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to Take the mid part of the next circle right there. I'm going to take it up two inches right here. Remember I told you the length of the flounce I wanted to make is about two inches. So you make 
your own flange based on the calculations of the length of the flange you need. So I'm going to mark two inches along these lines. So at this point also, I'm going to connect these lines to the t two inches I marked upward there. I'm going to try as much as possible to connect it, even though I'm going to make a smoother line later. So you just make sure you draw enough reference lines that will help you to connect, at least have a semi-perfect circle, even if it's not a, sec if a perfect one. So, you connect your guidelines together smoothly and gently. So, the next thing I'm going to go on to do now is to keep on adding my two inches all around my flounce. As you can see here, I'm going to keep adding my two inches above the ones I've made already. So you keep on doing that to the end. So guys, as you can see, I've finished marking in the length of my flounce and I usually stop when I found out that the measurement here is not the same with the ones remaining here. So what I do here, what indicates for me that it has ended also is that at this point where I started, if you look from this start end, it's also ended here. So what I'm going to do now is to first of all, close this flounce right here with my ruler to indicate where my flounce ended right here. So as soon as I close this up, the next thing I'm going to do now is to start cutting. And to start cutting, I'm going to first of all, start cutting from this remaining part of the flounce, the, these ones that are not part of the flounce. I'm just going to cut this in right here. And then I'll cut off all these that are not a part of this flounce. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. Now guys, as you can see, I've cut off the excess piece of this and the remaining part is our main flounce, which is exactly what we need. And I'm just going to cut all around using the garlic line as a trace for my cotton.
so guys as you can see we are almost done with cutting this flounce you know the essence of flounce is that it can take your dress from basic to high class you can add it to the neck of your dress to the side slit to your sleeves to the waistband anything you can add it just about anywhere it it accentuates the beauty of every piece of art when it comes to fashion designing so this is it i'm just going to cut all around this small circle as you can see here and i'll be done so i find it very easy to make my flounce like this it saves me enough time and it saves me a lot of fabrics too i don't have to cut as much as i don't need because i use my calculations for this and it always works out for me each time i do this so guys this is it so what you're going to do here is that at this point if you don't want this part of the flounce to be stretched to be as shaped as the one inside you can as well just draw it in draw a curved line like so and you can just cut this out if you want both sides of your flounce to be pointed you can just cut this out and you have it right there so that is it then another thing right here I'm going to show you another trick here if you want to shorten this and you've cut everything and the length is too long for you but you want to shorten it you can shorten this flounce from any point of it like for instance if you have something like this as long as this but where you actually want this to stay is right at the point right here so you just have to mark a straight line there first of all you're going to mark a line there then the next thing you're going to do is to create a curve from any point from here to this point as you're cutting you have to make sure you don't have sharp points like i'm going to still smoothen this out like this so you can smoothen it out to join the other level of curves and there you have it so this is it this is very easy to make and I enjoy making flounces because as soon as I finish cutting it, it gives me one kind of joy. I don't know why, but I like it. Then another thing is this. This part of your flounce sits on the seam line of wherever you're going to sew this into. So don't make the mistake of sewing the other part into it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up to this video. Like and subscribe and share my videos. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial take care of yourselves bye